Hey, how's it going? In this video, I'm going over how to enter Cricut APN settings on any Android phone. These are the settings you need to get things like group and picture messaging working properly, as well as cellular data. So I'm using the Galaxy S9 here and I have my Cricut SIM card installed. If I pop it on, you can see it says Cricut in the top left hand corner. Unlocking the phone, um, you know, I just put the SIM card in recently and set it up as a fresh new device. And it appears everything does work properly and I can demonstrate. So if we go into Chrome and we search for speed test, it looks like that is there. We can quickly run an internet speed test and verify that our internet connectivity is working properly. I do have a few bars of LTE service and like you'd expect, I'm getting around that eight megabit per second speed cap that Cricut does have on their plans. And, you know, in my opinion, this is totally fine. My usage has been totally fine. So as you can see, cellular data is working perfectly here with this speed test. I got 7.11 megabits per second down. Um, looks like my upload speed isn't quite so good, but, you know, I don't notice that too much. So that's fine. Again, Internet looks like it's working. I have a test message pre-composed to my US, Noble, uh, U.S. mobile number, so I can send that along. And um, just get my other phone here and see if this goes through. There it is. Yep. So that totally worked. And what we can try sending a picture and see if that works. Um, again, with the MMS settings, you are configuring your device for sending and receiving group and picture messages. So I don't know if this will work right off the bat yet. Um, looks like it is working. So there you go. It looks like everything is working right off the bat with Cricut. Uh, on the Galaxy S9, no setup required. However, this doesn't mean it's not a good idea to check and verify you have the correct APN settings. And with some Android phones, you may not have everything working right off the bat, and it may be a good idea to check just to make sure you have everything correct, or you may have to enter some things manually. So there are two ways to enter the Cricut APN settings. One is Cricut will send you a message, and I'll show you that eventually when I get it. And the second way is to go online and enter these settings manually. So first, let's go through the manual steps. Again, you're just going to go into the internet. If you Google Cricut APN settings, uh, the first result will have everything you are looking for. So I'll type in Cricut APN. Bam, there you go. Name, internet, APN, NDO, the MMS proxy, the multimedia message ports, the MCC, the MNC, the APN type, and the APN protocol. If you tap on this article, Cricut has a great write-up on kind of how everything works. Uh, again, you can see here the device requirements. They have one automatic configuration, and I'll show you this in a bit. Basically what happens is Cricut will send you a text message, and it'll have a, a button you can tap in your notification shade that just says configure. And then if you scroll down, you can see how to enter everything manually. So I'll show you how to enter the settings manually, and then I'll show you how to enter the settings with the super easy automatic setup when you get the message. So again, here is everything Google was displaying in terms of the name, the APN, and all of that stuff. And to find this, what we're going to want to do is hop into your settings. So I'm just going to tap the settings tile. I'm going to go to connections on the Samsung Galaxy phone. This may be a little different, different excuse me, depending on which device you have. Uh, I'm going to go to mobile networks. And I'm going to go to access point names. So here you can see it looks like everything was automatically configured. And it looks like this information, while it's super grayed out and you probably can't see it, uh, looks like it does match what is displayed on the Cricut website. But if for some reason your device didn't have this or your information was not correct, you can easily edit it. So I could discard this if I wanted to, or I could add an access point name. And here you would just follow the steps that are listed on the website. And I'll leave Cricut's article linked in this video description, so be sure to check that out. But basically what they're saying is to make this titled Internet, um, thank you, autocorrect. Um, just jumping back there, Internet, the APN is NDO, the MMSC. And yeah, basically you can go through and enter all this information in the settings and you can fill all of these out. If uh, there's a section here that doesn't have um, information, like they don't specify the information here, just leave it blank and you should be good. I'm not going to... Actually, yeah, I'll go through, I'll enter everything, and then I'll jump back. Okay, so I have all the information entered correctly here. The name is Internet, the APN is NDO, all lowercase. The MMSC is this URL right there. The multimedia proxy, the message port is 80, the MCC is 310, MNC is 150, 
authentication type none, APN default, the APN protocol, and the APN roaming protocol are both IPv4. The APN is on and the bearer is unspecified. And the mobile virtual network operator type is none. So that is pretty much it. I can tap save in the top right and there we go. So that would be how you manually add the correct APN settings to make sure everything is working properly on Cricut. Again, this applies for group and picture messaging as well as the internet access. So that is how you enter everything manually. However, in a bit, I should receive an automatic text from Cricut with the setup instructions. So I'm gonna put the phone down, wait for that to show up and come back and show you the simple and easy automatic setup that you should get again within a few minutes of popping your Cricut SIM card into your new Android device. So basically when you swipe down from the notification tray, you will see a message from Cricut and it reads configuration message. So if you just tap on that, you'll be brought to a window that has two configuration messages. One is for app MMS, the second is for app internet. And to install them, you just tap on them. And then at the bottom, you can see there's a button that says install. You just tap that, tap okay, and you're done. And you can do this again for the internet one. Again, simple as that, and you're done. Anyway, that wraps up this video on how to enter Cricut's APN settings on any Android device. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up down below. Also consider subscribing for more videos like this one. I'm Stetson, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.